So I received an email from a customer that wanted to create some custom coffee cups. And um, she sent me kind of what she was looking for. And I've seen these around, um, you know, and I think they're really cool little personal gifts that you can make for someone. And I wanted to show people how to use the features in Shortcuts a lot to achieve this sort of thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with just a circle. Okay, so in my library here, which you can bring up by clicking on Window and going to Library. Now I hit it again, so it hit it, but now here it is. You can click on a circle, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change the size and you can do so by clicking here. And actually, let me let me pop this window out here so I can bring this a little bit closer to the action. Uh, so we've got the circle highlighted. And I'm going to set this to 3.75 inches wide. And I'm going to do that by typing in that value into the width section here. And I want to make sure that I keep the proportions. So anything I change in the width will automatically change in the height. So I'm going to hit Enter on my keyboard. And now I have a 3.75 inch circle. Now what I'm going to do just to kind of help color coordinate everything, I'm going to pop this out too, is I'm going to change this to, I'm going to change the fill color, and that's the color that this is filled in with, to a green color. So what you do is you double click on the little white square here, because right now the fill is white. We're double clicking on that, and we're selecting a green color. We're going to hit OK and now it's green, okay? So what we wanna do is create a thin ring, um, and then we're gonna put another uh, little ring inside. Now actually, I have one that I already created here, so you can kinda of see what I did. And what we're doing right now is we're creating this little ring, okay? So back to this project. Now I've got this circle here, and actually let me zoom in on this a little bit more, and I'm gonna go 200%. Make that a little smaller, okay. So we have our circle here. What I'm going to do, and actually, you know what? Let me change the stroke color to the same green. And you can accomplish that. Let me show you by double clicking on the black square here and just clicking on the green. And that got rid of that black stroke that was around the circle. All right, so to create the little um, thin circle, we're going to highlight this by clicking on it. We're going to go to Edit and Copy. And then we're going to do Edit paste in place. Okay, so what that did was it took that circle and copied it, made an exact replica of it, and placed it right on top of itself. So you can see here in the layers window that we have two circles. Now I can hide one, and I can hide the other one. Now they're the same color right now, so and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the circles, and I'm going to change the fill color to white, you don't have to do this, but I'm doing this just to make uh, make it visually clear as to what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's take a look here. I've got the white circle and I've got the green circle. Okay, the two layers are showing me what I have here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the white circle. Okay, and the white circle is here in the layers. I'm gonna select it and on a Mac, I'm gonna hold down Option and Shift on a PC, you're gonna hold down Alt and Shift. And then I'm gonna, while I'm holding that down, I'm gonna grab this handle and I'm gonna bring this in. You can see that it's keeping it in place and it's just moving it relative to the other circle right now. Now, if I let go of Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, it's just gonna, it's gonna go all over the place. But if you hold down Alt, it keeps it relative to where that uh, other circle is. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna size it to about here. Okay, now I've got my ring. Now what we wanna do is create the, um, well, we have the outer ring here. Now I wanna create the inner ring. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and let me zoom back in on this, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and do the same exact thing here. I'm going to select the white circle and I'm going to go to edit, copy, and I'm going to go to edit, paste in place. So now you can see here in the layers window, I have three circles, two white ones, but I'm going to change this second white circle 
to green. Okay, and now what I can go ahead and do is again, hold down option or alt if you're on a PC and shift and pull that in. Okay, and we're going to make it about, I think like that is good. Let's see. Yeah, that's about right. And again, you can, you can adjust this and alter it however you want. Um, okay. So we've got that and now we need to do, we need to make a, a white section here in the center. Okay. So again, let me go back in on this here. I'm going to do the same exact thing. We're going to take this circle, edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. All right. And we're going to change the color to white. So in essence, all we're doing right now is we're just copying and pasting circles in place so that they're aligned perfectly on top of each other. So now I'm going to hold down option and shift, or if you're on a PC, alt and shift, and I'm going to bring this in and I want to create a nice little ring there where I can eventually put my name. Okay. So we're going to resize that to about, well, that about that. That's fine for demonstration purposes. I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have our little ring here and we've got that little inner part there as well. Now, in order for this to be cuttable, uh, we need to take a few layers and, um, well, get rid of the white portions because we only want the green portions to cut out. So uh, what we'll do for now is we're gonna hide the inner green ring by turning off those layers. There's a white circle and there's a, a green circle. And you know what, for the sake of demonstration, just so that you can see all the layers here, I'm going to change this to an off white. I'm going to make it like a gray so that you can actually see both of those circles there. Let's do that just to, so you have a better visual. So if I take off the top two circles, we've got the green circle here and I can actually remove that. So you can see that it's a full circle. And then we have a, a smaller circle within that circle. So what we're going to do to make this just the little band around here is we're going to select both of these shapes and you got to make sure that you get them all. Okay. So now they're both selected and you can tell because the layers window here on the left hand side highlights each layer blue to indicate that you have more than one layer selected. Okay. So I'm going to select both layers and you can see they're both highlighted here. You can also, if you want, you can shift click the two layers that you want to select directly in the layers window. Okay. So if you hold down shift and click on any of the layers, it will select or deselect them as you go. Okay. So I've got these two selected. What I'm going to do is go to object. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to path and I'm going to do a back minus front. Okay. And so what that did was it took the, the circle that was up on top and it cut it out of the back circle. Okay. So all we're left with is one shape now, and it's just the ring. You can see that it's just the ring because you can now see the grids on the actual uh, mat. Okay. So now we've got that in place. Now let's turn on those other two layers and let's turn off that other one. We don't want to mess with that right now. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to select these two and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do path back minus front. And that got rid of that inner circle, making this all one solid piece. And now we only have two pieces and they are exactly what we're looking for. So we can, you'll notice that it's see-through. The only thing that's going to cut out at this point is just the green part. So if you're using like a green, so if you're using like a green, uh, not vellum, but uh, vinyl, that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write the name uh, or write the word coffee at the bottom here. So in order to do that, and in order to do that, um, accurately, I'm going to take another circle here and actually let me get rid of this star. I don't want that to get in the way. Okay. So we're going to grab this layer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another circle that we're going to use to help us, um, help guide the writing of the words that we're interested in here. So I'm going to go up to, I've got one circle selected the main one here. I'm going to go to edit and copy. I'm going to go to edit paste in place. So now we have two of these inner circles. Okay. I'm going to hold down option or alt if you're on a PC and shift 
and pull that in until I have the outer part of it in the place where I think the text should sit. Okay, now that may look a little confusing here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that color to like a gray so that you can see that this gray circle, let's remove it for a second, it's just sitting slightly inside of the green circle here or the green wheel. And that is, you can actually see the blue part there. That's the green part of the circle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this gray circle to type on so that it can follow the curve of that, that gray section. Okay, so uh, before we do that though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gray piece and right click on it, break it apart and get rid of, I'm just highlighting this and hitting delete to get rid of that middle part. I don't, I don't wanna create more confusion here. So we just have a nice circle here. And over on the left-hand side, if you hold down the text tool, let me move this out of the way for a second. If you hold down the text tool, you'll get an option for type on arc, okay, or arch, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna go into fonts here, and actually I have my Santana black font selected. And what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I have the text tool selected here. And I'm gonna click down here, right on, right on the actual um, gray circle. Okay, and I'm just gonna type coffee. Okay, so that looks kind of weird, but it is following the curve of uh, this circle here. Okay, so what we can do at this point, if you want, you can highlight these, and there are a bunch of great little tools here uh, under the font section. There's a little font button here on the right-hand side with the letter A, or the two letter A's, and I can increase the tracking a little bit if I want to separate the letters a little more. And I can increase the width of the letters if you want. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this, actually. And let me just go back for a second here to what I had. Okay, so now what we can do is we can grab our selection tool up here on the top left. And then we can move it around. And if we don't like the curve... Uh, we can always change it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of this thing and get it into place. Now let's turn this into a white. So I have it highlighted. I'm going to double click on the gray section under stroke and I'm going to make that white and I'm going to change the fill to white as well. Okay, so there is, there is the coffee. Okay, and uh, I'm pretty happy with, I think I'm pretty happy with, um, the size and the, you know, the arc of it. But if you're not, you can go back and click on the type on arc tool and you can decrease or increase the radius again if you want. But I am actually, I'm quite happy with how it was. So I'm gonna just go back a few times. Oops, let's go redo. Okay, and then we can take this and just get it back to how we had it. And I'm just using the little rotation tool here just to get it in the right spot. Okay, so we've got got the coffee portion. Looks pretty good. You can go back to the type on arc tool and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gray circle again. And I'm just gonna write my name. Now you'll notice that it's going the wrong way. So all you need to do is change this little option up here from inside to outside, and it changes the curve. Okay, we can increase or decrease the radius as we please. Okay, and I'm gonna click here on the selection tool so that I can take and move this around. And I'm gonna grab this handle here to increase the size. And I think that looks pretty good. It's a little bit smaller than the text on the bottom, so I'm going to increase that until it looks just about right. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Let me just adjust that ever so slightly. And one thing I don't like about what's happening here is that the letters are so separated. So I can go back to my type tool here, okay, and then the tracking I can decrease the tracking a little bit. Now it changed its rotation, but we can fix that in a second. I think that might just be a little bug in the software. Okay, there we go, that looks a lot better. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. And once we're done with that, we can delete this little gray circle. That's done. And there is, there is, that's pretty much it. Now, okay, so in order for this, the, the actual words to cut out of the green ring section here, we just need to run a process. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the green ring, the inner green ring, by clicking on it here in the layers. And then we can hold down shift and click coffee. Okay, so we're going to select these two layers and we're going to go to path and we're going to do back minus front. Okay, so what that did was it doesn't look like it did anything, but it actually did because you can see the little guidelines uh, behind this piece now. So now we're going to repeat this process again. We're going to hold down shift while we select the inner ring and my name, Leo. I'm going to hold down shift to select both of them and we're going to do the same thing go under path back minus front okay and that cut out that's going to cut that out of this green piece now so now we're just dealing with um, two pieces that well two individual pieces if we're talking about vinyl here okay so here let's do a preview so you can see what's going to cut everything in red is going to cut so you can see that there's the outer ring that's going to cut and then the inner ring is going to cut with my name and the word coffee cut out of it okay okay so now that this is done what you can do especially if you're a Cricut user um, if you have a, a, a silhouette machine or any machine that you can actually cut to directly with the software you would just go ahead and cut it for Cricut Explore and Maker users you would go to file and export and then you would just save it as uh, whatever I'll call it coffee template or whatever and you can see here that you have the option to save it as an SVG file so we're gonna do that we're gonna hit save I'm just gonna pop this on my desktop instead hit save and again for design space users there's a little button here that makes it design space compatible we're gonna hit OK and let's take a look at it in design space okay so once you are in design space you can hit upload and hit upload image and browse and all we need to do at this point is just locate the file that we just created which in this case is I called it coffee template SVG okay and there it is okay and we can bring it into design space and it is ready to go so if you do decide to get a, a copy of the software definitely uh, get it through our website SVG tools we have it for $52.99, and it also includes a bonus gift card to Dreaming Tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas for future tutorials, please uh, drop me an email by visiting our website. That's at 3dsvg.com, and just hit the contact form, and we'll be happy to uh, consider your suggestion for a future video. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.